Welcome to Chair Yoga. In this practice today, we will be focusing on the neck and the shoulders, the hips and the lower back, strengthening and stretching things out. So let's go ahead and join each other in taking a comfortable seat. When you arrive, let's go ahead and sit in the middle of the chair or forward slightly, having your feet out in front of your knees. So with the feet out in front of the knees, that oftentimes gives us a little more stability. So with your feet forward, press into your feet and feel that sensation of being pressed back a little bit into your hips. And let's go ahead and center your focus out in front of you. And start to center your mindfulness, start to pull focus into the present time. And let's begin with a body scan, either gaze forward through your eyelashes, or if you feel safe to close your eyes, start to turn your focus inside, scanning from the bottoms of your feet, noticing sensations of what's in contact with your mat or the floor, coming up through your legs and your knees, coming up into your hips and noticing which parts of your legs are in contact with the chair. Feeling for lifting up out of your lower back, lifting through the chest and letting the shoulders come back and then relax down. Noticing the position of your hands and your arms. And back up to the chest as you're extending upward through the top of your head, scanning around the facial muscles, the jaw, the tongue. And now let's bring our focus into the breath. Starting to feel for intentional breath. With me, two or three times, breathe in through your nose. And then as you exhale, open the mouth and whisper the sound of ha like you're fogging your breath out into the cold air. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth, whispering ha. One more time together, breathing in through the nose, feel the cold air come in through the nostrils, the body warming the air. And as you exhale, releasing and feel how warm the exhale is from that transformation. And then closing your mouth, but continue to narrow the throat, generating that whisper sound. And let's stay mindful, tucked inward in this practice. Releasing your hands down beside you, let's warm up through the shoulders, rolling the shoulders up, back, and around. And then around in the other direction, or just kind of play with some kind of upper body movement. Engaging with the flow of breath, being real mindful and intentional, regulating the breath on the inhale and the exhale. And then taking your hands out in front of you, press out and let's circle at our fingers, circle at our wrists. And come to the elbows, bringing your hands to your shoulders and then extending your arms. And let's start coordinating breath with movement now. As you exhale, bring your hands to your shoulders. And on the inhale, extend your arms out as far as you can comfortably reach. So back and forth. Nod the chin in just a little bit so you feel a stretch, a pull coming down the spine. 
And the next time you have your hands near your shoulders, open your elbows, open your chest, squeeze between your shoulder blades, and then exhale, bring your elbows towards each other. Maybe they'll touch, maybe they won't. Going in and out a few times. Coordinating the inhale as you open and the exhale as you close. And the next time we open up, bring your hands into a cactus shape with your palms facing forward. Raise your arms up to a comfortable height up above you. And then exhale, bring your elbows down and squeeze right in between your shoulder blades. Breathing in, raise your arms up, spread your fingers apart. Go up, 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 as high up as you can comfortably lift your arms. And then exhale, bring it down. Coordinating our breaths and our movements together. One more time. Bring your hands back behind you on the chair. Scoot your hips forward, walk your feet forward, and then let's lean forward, opening in your chest, and start to nod your chin. Chin down, give yourself a few breaths into the back of your neck. Lifting your chest up towards your chin. And then bring your head into neutral. Look over your left shoulder. And turn your head and look over your right shoulder. And bring your head back to center and bring yourself back up, shoulders over the hips. Bring your hands on your chest or over your collarbones and front ribs. And then exhale, turn to the left. And then back to center and let's turn to the right. Let your hips come with you in this turn. So if you can kind of imagine like when you're driving your car, you're gonna look behind, check before you pull out, that kind of move. Let's build into the heat. When you come back to center, bring your arms back into that cactus shape and then turn again to the left. And then come back to neutral and turn again to the right. Breathing in, center, and breathe out, twist. And when you've twisted evenly on both sides, bring the arms down and roll the shoulders up back and around again. We're gonna do a little hip walk here to warm up the hips and the low back. So take your hands on your hips and bring right hip forward and then left hip forward and then go left hip back, right hip back and keep walking until you run out of room and you're... <laughs> Lost my word there. You can pick up your feet as you walk forward and back or not. Just feel for lifting one hip, bringing it back, then the other side, and then the other side. And walking with your feet on the mat, easy for me to say. I'll do that maybe one or two more times. Feel for picking up the hip, bringing it back back and noticing too which is easier coming forward or back sometimes if you're not on a slippery surface you can get a little catch there so just be mindful practice where you can with more of a greater sense of ease and then the next time we come towards the middle of the chair let's pause here 
And let's come down with our awareness to our legs. So body scan down below your hips, hands on your knees, lifting one foot and then bring it down and then lift up the other foot. Add as much weight as you'd like with this hand to strengthen the hips. Up and down. So let's lift on the exhale on exertion, pulling in your belly as you raise your leg and add that little resistance. Lifting up out of your low back. So try not to round into your low back. Keep extending up through the top of your head. And when we've practiced evenly, let's come into Dandasan, staff pose. Extend your legs out in front of you. You may want to put your feet up onto a bolster or blocks or just down here on the floor, flexing your feet. Hold onto your chair and push down with your arms so you're able to lift up. You feel that extension rising up out of your pelvis and then really flex through the feet, engage the leg muscles. Feel for firming the muscles, squeezing a little bit in between your knees. Squeezing through your glutes. Two or three more breaths. And then letting go, sit back down on the chair if you've lifted yourself up. And let's take a block now. Let's take the block between your knees. So we have three widths here. We have that narrow width, we have the medium width, and then we have the wider width. Find a width that you can hold on to with your legs. You could use a book too. You can get creative with the props, but somewhere where you're really squeezing the prop. Your hands either on your legs or beside you on the chair, raise your heels up and then rock and lift the big toe side of the foot up or lift the ball of the foot up. So we're starting to engage the muscles all the way down to our ankles, through our calves and then that little squeeze so that it supports the hips and strengthens that inner leg line. So lifting and lowering as you're rocking out here. A light squeeze on the prop. One or two more times. And then push down into your heels. And let's come forward with our hands, hands right on the knees. Pull your chest forward. Lift at a comfortable place to stretch the front of your throat. And then push with your hands round your shoulders, tuck your chin, round all the way to the tailbone. Inhale, slide your hands up your thighs towards your hips. Open the chest, squeezing elbows in. And then exhale, slide hands towards the knees round. Let's go back and forth with some cats and cows. Mindful of the flow of breath to hold our focus and center us. One more time. And sitting up tall, focusing on the breath once again. What does it feel like? Let's come into some sun salutations here, seated in the chair. So as we breathe in, raise your arms at a comfortable height for you. Lift up, 
and then exhale. Bring your hands down on the front of your knees, lean forward. Stay with extension if you have disc issues or osteoporosis, or if you'd like to come down into some flexion, come down towards your feet or your legs. Make sure your knees are as wide apart as needed to have space for the belly. And then lifting your chest, come all the way up, press with your hands, and let's bring your right knee up towards your chest and your ribs. Giving yourself a couple of breaths here. Lift up out of your lower back as you're bringing the knee in close. And then exhale, bring your, hand, your foot back down. And then come back into the forward fold. Either halfway down in extension or all the way down towards flexion. Inhale, lifting yourself back up. Arms come up. And then exhale, bring the left knee up towards your chest and your ribs. Pull it in nice and close to you. Give yourself another big breath. Extend up, lift out of your hips and your low back. And then exhale, bringing your foot down and coming forward down into the forward bend. Inhale, lift your chest, raise your arms up, sweep up. And exhale, hands coming back down the midline to the heart. Inhale, arms come out in front of you, spread. And exhale, come into forward fold, either halfway down or all the way. Inhale, lifting chest, peel up, arms come up this time. We're going to change it up a little bit. And then exhale, bring your right knee back up towards your chest. Pull it up towards your ribs. Shoulders set back, sit up really tall. And then exhale, bringing your foot down, arms lift up. Exhale, forward fold, coming into that half extension or all the way down to your comfort. Inhale, lift through the chest, peel up so you're strengthening your back, arms come up. And then exhale, bring your left knee up towards you. Pull it in real close, give yourself a little hug there. Press down through the standing foot, lift up. And then foot down, arms come back up. And exhale, opening into a forward fold. Halfway down or all the way down. Lifting through the chest, come on back up, arms lift. And then exhale, hands back to the midline. This time let's add a plank here. Breathe in, arms come up. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway or all the way down. Inhale, lift up, come back up, and exhale, come into plank. So pressing through your fingers, extending out through your wrists, and let's stay here a few breaths, really pulling in. You could extend your legs forward and squeeze as though we did as the, when we were holding that prop between your legs, or keep those feet right in front of the knees to your comfort. Lift up out of the low back, shoulders pulling down, and then exhale. Bring your right knee up and put that left foot under the knee. Give yourself a big breath. Setting your foot down, arms come up, and then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift the chest, come all the way back up, and exhale, return to plank. So this dynamic flowing movement here, spreading, feel the muscles holding the bones. Remember, we can extend out, if you wish, into plank, seated plank. Hug in through your hips, squeeze through your glutes. And then exhale, releasing and bringing that left knee up. So you're in your lunge, your seated lunge. Your foot comes down, arms lift up. 
Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway this time. And let's hold this halfway. You could take your hands on your knees or your shins. Pull. Think of cobra pose here, where we extend through the front line, open through the chest, open through the throat, without jamming the back of your neck. Keep extending out through the top of your head. And then press through your feet, stand all the way up, sit all the way up, and hands unite at the heart. Feeling the sensations here. And then let's turn to the right side. This is where a block or a cushion might come in handy here. Put it down in front of your chair for a crescent lunge, bringing your left knee onto that prop. You could come up off the chair if you would like to explore that, but if you're needing a little more stability and support, stay seated on the chair. And then tilt the tailbone down, bring the left arm up. So I always wanna make sure that we feel stable and steady. Let that be the first thing that comes into your awareness. And then from there, Grow into the posture, focusing on to your breath. Lean over to the right, so we're opening up this whole left side. Come on back up, bring the arm back down. Holding the chair, let's go ahead and pivot around and bring your right knee onto the prop. I really like the bolster or a pillow. If you can find one that is firm enough, then it also gives you that ability to kind of hang your foot off the edge. Tilting the tailbone down and then lift your ribs up. And with or without the support of the chair, coming off the chair, staying seated, right arm comes up. Side bending over to the left. Reaching with that right arm at a comfortable height. And breathe in, come back to center, hold on to the chair, and let's turn around to face forward again and grab your prop, your bolster, your pillow. And let's come into a seated cobra with our hands holding onto that front edge and our feet out in front of our knees for stability. Pull that bolster, that cushion in towards your belly and lift through the chest. And you can come forward putting more weight down onto your forearms if you'd like. Lifting without throwing your head back. So you just wanna feel a gentle stretch through the neck and a big opening across our chest. We're strengthening our back muscles here. Give yourself maybe three more breaths, inviting that uplift of energy, opening up through the front line, strengthening the back line. And then coming in towards a forward fold, you could keep the bolster there or take the cushion between your legs, come halfway down, or if you'd like to come down to the floor, take a few breaths. 
So if you're needing to stay upright, let's get creative with that prop where you can use that for extension. If you're wanting to spread out and stretch the lower back and that feels healthy, squeeze the feet in just a little bit. So it's supportive of your sacrum. Lifting through the chest, come on back up. So peel yourself up as we did earlier. And then let's walk our legs out wider. Bring your legs to a comfortable width apart. And let's go back to raising and lowering the heels. Let's lift our heels now coming into goddess pose and go ahead and interlace your fingers and raise your arms at a comfortable height. So however high up you can reach your arms, feel into that. Lifting up tall, lift your ribs up away from your hips. Lean a little bit over to one side. And come over to the other side. And bring your heels down, release your arms, take your hands on your legs, scoot your hips back behind you. And then let's drop right shoulder forward, look to the left. Body scanning here with our breaths. Add a lot of extension to this twist. Notice where you feel your breaths. And turning to the other side, bring your left shoulder forward and look in the other direction. And come on back into center, walking your feet back in. Coming back into staff pose, legs extend out in front. Maybe it's on the prop, maybe it's on the floor. Take your hands down to the seat of the chair, press down and lift up, firming your legs. Sit up as tall as you can and engage the muscles, feeling everything kind of hugging from periphery to center. And releasing, bend your knees. Let's bring left foot down on the floor, right leg open to the side. So here's your warrior two. You could stand with that left foot forward. You could even bring the left leg extended out. Coming into a warrior two variation here on the chair. We're building lots of strength in the upper body and use your legs, press down through your feet and look over your right arm. Let's come into some dynamic movement. Bring your right hand or forearm down and bring your left arm up and over. And then come back up through to warrior two. 
and then over into side angle. Dynamic flow in and out. One more time. Let's stay in our side angle. The hand can be down, the forearm can be down. And then bend the elbow, open the chest, and let's release our neck. Let your head fall towards the bottom shoulder or choose a position that feels good and healthy for your neck to stretch into. Bringing that left arm back, opening through the chest as best as you could reach back. Reach your left hand down away from your neck. Reach towards the floor, press through your fingers until you really feel for unwinding the tension in the side of your neck. Pressing through your right foot to lift yourself back up. And then let's go ahead and adjust back to center and some cat-cow. Inhale, opening the front line, slide your hands towards your hips, and exhale, round into the shoulders, tuck the chin, maybe down, and I feel what's right for your spine. And then let's pause here and feel a few breaths. Centering your awareness back on body scanning and breath. And open your left leg into the warrior two variation, the right foot under the knee, or maybe you wanna bring the leg out in front of you. Find for a healthy connection to both legs extending out through your arms and looking over your left arm and shoulder. Reach out dynamically through the arms. Feel for expansion here. And let's add dynamic movement, bringing your hand or your forearm down, reaching up and over with that right arm. And then lifting back up. Use the center core, your abs, to help support this movement. Going back and forth. Breathing in, warrior two. Breathing out, extending warrior side stretch. Getting into the oohs and the ahs here, where it feels good. And then let's stay in our side stretch. Reach out. Come into chest opener, bring that right arm back. Reach back as far as you comfortably can until you open through your chest and then release your neck. Explore positions of your head to open up in through the neck and the top of the shoulder. And extending your right hand down, teasing out a few more breaths into your neck.
Press with your left foot to bring your body back up. And then let's assist our legs back into neutral. Sitting up nice and tall and some cat cows. Breathe in, open the front line and exhale round into the back line. Bringing this back into our sun sal as you breathe in, arms come up. And exhale, come into forward fold. Halfway down or down towards your mat. Inhale, lifting through the chest, bring the arms up. Your right foot comes up, your knee comes in towards your chest or towards your ribs. Your foot comes down, your arms come up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, press with your feet, peel the chest up, arms come up. And exhale, bring your left knee up. Your foot comes down, arms lift up. Exhale, forward fold, halfway or all the way down. Breathe in, lift through the chest and let's bring the arms up. And the hands to the heart. Tracking, feel, sensations, breath, Body scan. Let's grab a strap, a belt, or something that you could even use a scarf, and let's make a loop with it. So adjust if you're using a belt where you have a loop with a tail. And we're gonna use this to open the back of our leg and reduce some of that tension in our hands and our wrists. And I'll show you how once you get that strap. And then go ahead and bring it around your right foot, extend your leg, and we could hold on with both hands, your thumbs up and relax the shoulders down. Or some of you may wanna explore bringing your right arm through. And this is where I need to have a smaller loop. You could be smaller or bigger, just depends on your body. Just please make sure that if you do this variation with me, with your hand up and your arm through, that your skin is not touching the buckle. So extending that right leg out, holding up or using an arm between, taking some breaths. It can be down have to have it up high and with that where that good to stretch up back of your leg where there's no strain bring your right leg out to the right side Big lift up in our chest. We could extend the left arm out and then look over the left shoulder if you're not using both hands to hold the strap. Lift out of your hips. And then bring the leg back around and then a little bit over in that other direction. This is where you could hold the strap, bring your other arm through, and then look over your right shoulder and your hip, or hold the strap with both hands. Big lift up in your chest, lift out of your low back. And 
And then smoothly recenter, bend the knee, and let's release the strap. Just go in and out through that hip for a few breaths. And then pause for a moment. What is the feel in the now? And coming to the left side, foot through and way different so maybe you want that foot down lower maybe it needs to bend feel for lifting up where you can extend your spine and reach through your leg get creative these are just a few suggestive things to try on in your body see if that works for you I like this when my hands are feeling kind of arthritic and sore I like using the strap in creative ways to kind of take that pressure off of my hands and my wrists. Lift up. So right here, keep reaching up through the top of your head. Don't sag in the spine or the low back. And opening out to the side, bring your left leg to the left and then look to the right. If you're using your hands on the strap, just gently open as best as you can bring that out. One or both hands. So you might even want to do this with one hand on the hip. Get up out of your hips. And then around to the second side, bringing the strap in your leg over to the right, and then turn and look to the left. And come on back into neutral, bend your knee and let's release the strap and go in and out with that leg and the hip. Planting down in your feet, take a breath and feel. Let's go ahead and make our way down to the floor, taking the chair out in front of you and if you can't easily come up and down from the floor I want you to just stay seated in the chair and this uh, next part of our sequence we can do both sitting or from our backs so go ahead and make your way down use the chair if you're sitting sit towards the middle of your chair and once you're on your back or seated comfortably, let's go ahead and come into back release pose here. Bring your right ankle up onto your left thigh and then add a little bit of traction, bringing your hands on your legs and pressing. If you're sitting in the chair, put that right ankle up on either the ankle up over, over the knee. Feel for an evenness in your low back and your hips, so you don't have one hip kind of turned up or forward more. If you want a deeper stretch, lean forward if you're sitting in the chair or slide that left foot closer to you. Easing on out of the stretch. Take a pause here. Feet on the floor, legs resting on the chair.
and a second side, bringing left ankle up onto the other ankle or up above the knee. Adding a little bit of traction with your hands is an option. Exhale, releasing, bringing your legs back to the chair or down on the floor, feet down on the floor, and take a mindful breath. Coming into Dundasana, if you're sitting in the chair, just like we did earlier, extend your legs, push your hands down the chair. If you're on the back, Viparita Karani, bring your legs up. So this inversion, if you're on your back, or core strengthener if you're seated in the chair. Your hands, those of you that are on your back, push down into the floor and reach up through your legs. Both will engage the core. If you're very tight, soften behind the knees here so that the spine is fully supported on the mat. If you're sitting in the chair, keep lifting out of the sit bones, growing up all the way through the top of your head. Three or four more breaths in Dandasan or in Viparita Karani. Legs up in the air or in staff pose. Bhadokonasana, bend your knees, bring the bottoms of your feet so that they're touching and either supported on the chair or if you're on sitting in the chair, you may want to bring a prop underneath your feet like this, pressing through the chair. You can lean forward if you're sitting. If you're on your back, Feel for lengthening out your lower back and your hips. Maybe even a little traction with your hands on your legs if you're here on your back. And letting go and relaxing your legs, either supported on the chair or feet out in front of your knees, scooting towards the back of your chair if you're seated. Let's come back into center focused on our breath. Scanning from the top of our head, relaxing the eyes, the facial muscles, letting the brain settle back in the skull. Or if you're sitting in the chair, relaxing through your face, your jaw, the tension from the neck and shoulders. Scanning down to your arms, to your hands, relaxing the muscles. Through your chest, to your low back and your hips. from your hips down to the soles of your feet. Everything releasing and opening. Journeying deeper within yourself. 
the thoughts arise, acknowledge, and then let them go. Just like if you were to release your hand from a fist, let the thoughts go. And let's shift our attention back to our breaths. Returning to an audible whisper sound with your breath. And let's add a count. As you breathe in, count to three. At three, be full. And then pause. And exhale for six, at six being empty. Beginning the next cycle, breathing in for three. See the numbers in your mind's eye and breathing out for six. In for three. And out for six. Two more times on your own. Then release the count. Rub your hands together. Through this friction, generating some heat. And let's rest them over our eyes. If you have glasses on, you may want to take your glasses off. Just melt the tension from the third eye to the brain. Bringing in more clarity. And when you're ready, go ahead and reseat yourself, rolling to the side. And to come up using the chair, crawl over onto your hands and your knees. Using the chair, put your hands on your chair and then step your stronger leg forward. And then let's lift ourselves up and take a seat into the chair. Recentering on the breaths. Take a moment to acknowledge the feel from your practice. And is this something that you'd like to share out off the mat today into your life? Or is this something that you'd like to just Continue to cultivate within yourself 
Maybe you've been feeling depleted and you just need to hold this inside to nourish you. Or if you have it to give and share, just ma making a mindful intention of that. In closing our practice, thank you for allowing me to serve you in this class today. Blessings to you.